When movie stars make insensitive comments, treat people unfairly, or display erratic behaviors, they are more likely to attract weighty punishments like bans. However, there are certain movie stars who have been blacklisted for offenses or issues that are far less. This video is about Hollywood actors who were banned for trivial reasons that some people would consider silly. Sandra Locke Sandra Locke's story remains one of the most intriguing stories in Hollywood to date. Hers is a story of betrayal, a tumultuous relationship, and lost glory. But before all these, she made a name for herself. Sandra Locke was a talented actress, director, and producer whose star shone brightly in the 1960s and 1970s. She captivated audiences with her performances in movies like The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, Willard, and the outlawed Josie Wales, where she showcased her natural acting skills. She later got into a relationship with the actor Clint Eastwood, and while they had an amazing relationship, the future held a lot of surprises. The actress's journey through Hollywood was not all sunshine and rainbows. Locke's fairy tale romance with Eastwood took a dark turn when she sued him for palimony, claiming that they had a common law marriage. The legal dispute was messy and expensive and would lead to the unfortunate end of Locke's career. Interestingly, there have been speculations that Clint Eastwood, who was once the love of her life, used his influence to blacklist her. Some claim that this was the reason why she found it difficult to find jobs after the legal battle. In her memoir, Sandra Locke shed more light on what transpired between them. She claimed that Eastwood allegedly manipulated her career and stopped her from working on other projects. If this is true, it is quite unfortunate that she lost her entire career due to her disputes with Eastwood. Unfortunately, Sandra Locke didn't get any other major acting opportunities after the legal battle and eventually withdrew from public life. Despite this, she is remembered for her talent and her impact on the film industry. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser burst onto the silver screen like a cinematic supernova in the early 90s. He was like a bolt of lightning that electrified the movie industry with his charming presence, incredible talent, and boyish good looks. Fraser's career began in 1991 when he landed a role in the film Dogfight, but it was his portrayal of the handsome and heroic George of the Jungle that really launched his career into the stratosphere in 1997. With his chiseled physique, goofy humor, and undeniable charm, Fraser quickly became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. In 1998, Fraser starred in Gods and Monsters, a critically acclaimed film that earned him a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor. This was followed by the iconic action-adventure film The Mummy in 1999, which was a smash hit at the box office and cemented Fraser's status as a Hollywood leading man. However, his career took a massive hit in the mid-2000 ES, and this was quite obvious. His fans stopped seeing him in movies. It seemed like he was not getting jobs anymore. People began to wonder why such a talented actor would be away from screens for so long. The revelations that followed these questions were surprising. In 2003, Brendan Fraser claimed that one of the well-known Hollywood officials made advances toward him, and he rejected it. He alleged that he was blacklisted as a result of his resistance. Over the years, there have been a lot of speculations regarding why he stopped appearing on screens. Although his career has not fully recovered, the actor is still putting in efforts to revive his career. Jim Cavazell, once upon a time in a land called Hollywood, there was a young man named Jim Cavazell. He was a dashing and talented actor with a chiseled jawline and piercing blue eyes that could captivate any audience. Jim started his career in the late 1990s, appearing in a variety of television shows and independent films. He caught the attention of critics with his performance in the 1998 war drama The Thin Red Line, where he portrayed Private Wit with a quiet intensity that left audiences in awe. But it was his breakout role in the 2002 film The Count of Monte Cristo that really put him on the map. Jim played the dashing and revenge-driven Edmond Dante with such charisma and depth that audiences couldn't help but root for him. At the pace at which he was going, he was undoubtedly going to be a great star in the future. Just when it seemed like Jim's career was on a steady climb to the top, he took on his most challenging role yet, 
In 2004, he starred in the controversial film The Passion of the Christ as Jesus Christ himself. This role tested Jim's faith, physical endurance, and acting skills in a way that few actors have ever experienced. Despite the controversy surrounding the film, Jim's performance was hailed as a triumph. He portrayed Jesus with a quiet strength and grace that left audiences moved to tears. Unfortunately, the fact that the movie was loved by viewers all over the world didn't shield him from the side effects of the role. Apparently, the actor stopped getting roles after he portrayed Jesus. Not everyone was okay with his decision to play the role, and his career was greatly affected by this. It is quite surprising that such a creative actor was sidelined because of a role. He was only doing his job, and he probably didn't set out to offend anyone through his performances. Caviezo later revealed that Mel Gibson had previously warned him that playing Jesus would cause him to be rejected by Hollywood. Perhaps what was predicted happened. Mira Sorvino Mira Sorvino's career in the entertainment industry is nothing short of captivating. From her debut in the 1985 film The Stuff, Sorvino quickly made a name for herself as an actress with immense talent and versatility. But it was in the early 1990s that Sorvino really shone. With standout performances in films like Amongst Friends and Quiz Show, it was clear that she was a force to be reckoned with. And when she won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1996 for her role in Woody Allen's Mighty Aphrodite, it was official. Sorvino had arrived. Her star continued to rise throughout the 90s with memorable roles in hits like Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. But Sorvino didn't stop there. She pushed herself to explore new territories, taking on challenging roles in films like The Grey Zone and Reservation Road. However, her career took a backseat in the late 2000s and eventually began to dwindle. As expected, people began to ask questions about why such a highly skilled actress stopped getting jobs. Her presence on screens was greatly missed, but no one knew why she stopped acting. In 2017, Miro Sorvino came out with revelations that many considered surprising. She alleged that Harvey Weinstein sabotaged her career because she rejected the advances he made toward her. The actress has attempted to revive her career over the years, but she has been unable to regain the success she once had in the industry. Johnny Depp his career can be described as a roller coaster ride of brilliant performances, controversial choices, and a flair for the unconventional. Depp first made his mark in Hollywood in the mid 1980s with his breakout role in the TV series 21 Jump Street. He quickly became a heartthrob, but refused to be pigeonholed as a pretty face. Instead, he gravitated toward complex and quirky characters, such as the titular role in Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands and the wacky pirate Captain Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Depp's willingness to take risks and embrace oddball characters earned him critical acclaim, and he quickly became one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. He continued to collaborate with Tim Burton on a number of films, including Sleepy Hollow and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. However, Depp's career hit a rough patch in the 2010s as his personal life became increasingly tumultuous. He faced ugly accusations from his ex-wife Amber Heard. He later claimed that he was blacklisted by Hollywood after losing a libel case to his ex-wife. The actor's personal life has certainly affected his career adversely. He lost a lot of opportunities as a result of his legal tussle. However, the truth remains that he is a phenomenal actor, and he has left an indelible mark on the film industry with his unique style and unforgettable performances. If you're surprised by the reasons that led to these actors being banned, you should click the screen to see actors who lost their careers within seconds.